Hi everyone, it's Giselle with a message for today and I want to discuss a dream message that I had a few nights ago. I didn't record it straight away because I was energetically a bit tired and I don't know, just wasn't the right time but now it is and um, I just wanted to share the messages that I received. So the first thing I dreamt was that I was talking to somebody about uh, my twin flame situation and they showed me a sequence of numbers but I remember it specifically ending with the number 69 and that's the number that I had in my sequence I think it was telephone numbers but I can't quite remember but all I know was that the number that I had for my twin in the dream ended with the number 69 and that this person I was talking to about him also had his number ending 69, which confirmed that we were talking about the same person because we were talking about twin flames in the dream. And then I remember getting a message in the dream that I could hear audibly as I was waking up. And I get this a lot. These are channeled messages that I now know are from my higher self. Back then, I wasn't too sure, you know, back then, I mean, a few months ago, I thought, is this from my angels or from my, from my twin? But it's actually from my higher self, and I do understand that now, as I'm able to tap in more and more in my subconscious mind as I'm sort of half waking up. And what she said to me is, yes, this is real. This twin flame thing, this is real. And this is a good confirmation for me, but also for so many others, because I had a ton of people, especially over the full moon, come to me questioning their journey and the person that they're with. If you have a doubt about the person you're with, I actually have a, con um, a, a meditation that you can use to get confirmation whether the person you're thinking about is your twin. Another way that you can do that actually is just going into your heart. Does this feel good to you or does that feel like you're deluding yourself? You know, you will know the answer to that question. I know for a fact because I've been through a ton of different soul contracts with different soulmates, karmic people and things like that. I know what the difference feels like for me. And I know, um, I remember having... Um, a reading about a false twin and some of the readers got him wrong and they said yeah he's he's giving a lot of signs of twin flames but every time they said that I felt like it was really off and my heart didn't feel resonant you know it just felt small and very to me it just kept shaking its head no 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 this is not right this is not it and I know now exactly why and it felt so different with my true love. I just feel he is. He is the one. And you will know the difference. But if you need some help with that, I do have a meditation here on my channel that you can use to get confirmation. But I just think that the message that I got, yes, this is real, is so wonderful. It's such a good confirmation. Even though I wasn't doubting it, I wasn't even asking about it because sometimes I'll go to sleep specifically asking a certain question um, that I wanted to find out through my dream state. But I didn't even ask any questions when I was um, dreaming that. But it was so memorable. And so also, I, I then had to look up what the number 69 meant. The 69 is the mirroring of the energies, but also I found um, angel number 69 represents the ending of one cycle and the beginning of a new cycle. And that is really how I feel. And I feel that because of that number being so prominent in the dream, that this is a message for me and anyone who resonates with this dream message that I received. If you're wondering or gone feeling lost, it's most likely because of this full moon energy. This full moon energy has been quite rough on a lot of people 
That's why if you've watched my previous video, you'll know that I'm still going through a ton of comic healings of cutting the ties. And as I said to clients, you know, this is not to cut your connection with your twin. It's just to cut off anything that just doesn't belong in your connection anymore, whether that's from past lives or this life. Anything that you need releasing will just be cut off to start a clean slate, basically. And, um, yeah, the full moon has brought up so much insecurities and questioning. So many people getting triggered, whether they're in contact and actively talking to their beloveds or not. A lot of people have just been asking me and questioning this, like, why? Why is it difficult? Well... It is a relationship unlike any other. Because usually when you meet somebody, you'll go through the stuff together. You'll go through the hard times together and try and work things out. Whereas with this, you work on yourself first and then come together. I also want to say to people who feel like they've been discouraged on this journey through other readers falling off the path. If that doesn't resonate with you and you are not being called to quit this journey, then that is not for you. And then it's just a sign that you must release that. Maybe they were helpful to you at some stage, but you know, people outgrow each other. I say to my clients all the time, question everything. Question what I tell you, question what you hear from other people. It's good to have your own compass and guide within yourself your intuition to understand and know what resonates with you and you know the worst thing you can do is blindly follow somebody because yes our journeys can be similar but they're not 100% the same and that's why I don't really feel like doing blanket readings anymore for the collective because it's very draining firstly to tap into a whole collective but then also you know, everyone's journey is so unique. Every single client that I read for has got a very different journey. They may follow similar patterns, but the way that goes about it, not not one, not, uh, sorry, not, not two um, journeys are the same as each other. They're really not. My journey is not the same as anyone else's and neither is yours. We may follow similar things, just like with the full moon, things may come up and make us feel a certain way and that's fine but our paths aren't the same the lessons that we learn are not the same a lot of lessons have to do with self-love and self-acceptance and yes that does follow a very similar pattern but the circumstances in which you meet each other um, your karmic lessons that you have to learn all of that is so vastly different and it's very interesting for me to do your readings for you because then I get to see even more patterns in how things are going for the collective at a certain time energetically. Or I can get to see, you know, what what sort of pathway these journeys follow so that I can easier um, and, and more efficiently guide new people coming onto the path. And I just want you to know that your spiritual guidance would not let lead you onto a wild goose chase. You know, they wouldn't do that to you. But it's also very important to follow your heart and use that to guide you. Because your heart will tell you the truth. When you are asking a question and you feel a very horrible feeling inside whether that's feeling sick or feeling small or sad anything negative will be a no and anything positive loving and growing and opening will be a yes so follow your heart with whatever it is that you're asking about but if the fact that you are a twin flame resonates with you then that's your truth just because other people have felt discouraged and have dropped off the journey does not mean that you have to do that at all. And it, 
I've had so many people coming to me with this question in the past few weeks where they've seen readers that they followed for a little while really discouraging them going oh this was all nonsense this is all not true well this is why I was given this dream I feel even though I wasn't questioning it or asking anything about it this is what they said to me this is real and if this resonates if this message makes you feel happy or loved or good inside your heart then you know that this is true and that this is real for you too so I hope that this message has helped you if you'd like to connect with me all my details are in the description. I thank you all so very much for watching and have a beautiful day. Namaste.